Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Ellen Holly, who passed away at the age of 92, was a groundbreaking actress whose legacy is etched in the annals of television history. Born in New York City and raised in the Richmond Hills neighborhood of Queens, Holly's prestigious lineage included pioneers and activists, setting the stage for her own trailblazing contributions to the arts. Graduating from Hunter College, Holly began her acting career on Broadway, showcasing her talent in productions like Tiger, Tiger, Burning Bright and as Desdemona in Othello. However, it was her role as Carla Greyhall on the ABC soap opera One Life to Live that marked a historic milestone. From 1968 to 1985, with a brief hiatus, Holly portrayed Carla, making her the first African-American to appear on daytime television in a leading role. This role not only showcased her exceptional acting ability, but also broke significant racial barriers in the entertainment industry. Holly's portrayal of Carla was initially shrouded in mystery concerning her race, creating a poignant moment in TV history when her character, initially thought to be Italian-American, was revealed to be African-American. This storyline not only captivated viewers, but also sparked conversations about race and identity across America. Aside from her iconic television roles, Holly's career included notable appearances in films and other TV shows, including a role in Spike Lee's School Days and as a judge on Guiding Light. Her autobiography, One Life, the autobiography of an African-American actress, provides a deep insight into her experiences and challenges in Hollywood, reflecting her advocacy for accurate representation and diversity. Ellen Holly's legacy as a pioneer for African-American actresses in daytime television remains profound. Her dedication to her craft and her role in shaping the narrative around race in entertainment continue to inspire and influence. Her journey reflects not just a remarkable career, but a pivotal chapter in the story of American television. Dickie Betts, who passed away at the age of 80 on April 18th, was a pivotal force in the world of rock music, renowned for his role as a founding member of the Allman Brothers Band. His unique approach to guitar playing, particularly his development of melodic twin guitar harmony alongside Dwayne Allman, revolutionized how rock guitarists interact, moving away from traditional roles to create a dynamic, interlocking partnership that would influence countless musicians. After the tragic loss of Duane Allman in 1971, Betts not only assumed sole lead guitar responsibilities, but also emerged as a significant songwriting and vocal presence within the band. He penned several of the group's most iconic tracks, including Ramblin' Man and the instrumental masterpiece Jessica, which became known to many as the theme to the TV show Top Gear. His songwriting showcased a seamless blend of rock, country, and blues, capturing the essence of the Southern rock genre that the Allman Brothers helped forge. Despite personal and professional ups and downs, including his eventual departure from the Allman Brothers band, Betts continued to influence the music scene through his solo work and projects like Great Southern. His dedication to his craft and his ability to touch the hearts of fans through his music remained evident throughout his career. Betts's legacy is cemented not only by his induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but also by his lasting influence on the music industry and guitarists worldwide. His contributions to the Southern rock genre are enduring, ensuring that his music will continue to inspire and resonate with new generations. We celebrate his remarkable contributions to the world of music and his enduring spirit in the face of life's challenges. Lynn Loring, passed away at the age of 80, leaves behind a rich legacy as both a talented actress and a pioneering television and film producer. 
Born Lynn Eileen Zimring in Manhattan, Loring's acting career began at the tender age of seven with a role on the soap opera Search for Tomorrow, where she remained a familiar face for a decade. Loring transitioned from childhood to adult roles with Grace, appearing in notable films such as Splendor in the Grass and Pressure Point, and guest starring in classic TV series including The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, Gunsmoke, Perry Mason, and The Alfred Hitchcock Hour. Her versatility and depth as an actress were showcased across genres, from westerns like The Big Valley to the espionage thrills of The Man from Uncle. In 1975, Loring made a significant shift from acting to the production side of the industry, where she had a profound impact. As a producer, she was involved in popular projects like the comedy Mr. Mom and had a successful partnership with television magnate Aaron Spelling. Later, she became president of MGM Television Productions, highlighting her role as a trailblazer for women in executive positions within the entertainment industry. Her personal life was equally filled with notable partnerships, including her marriage to actor Roy Thins, with whom she shared screen time in several productions. They had two children, enriching her legacy with a family that continued to be part of her life until her passing. Lynn Loring's contributions to television and film have left a memorable mark on the industry, remembered for her pioneering spirit and enduring talent. Her work, both in front of and behind the camera, will continue to inspire future generations in the entertainment field. Ken Holtzman, a towering figure in Major League Baseball and a cherished member of the Jewish sporting community, passed away on April 15th at the age of 78 after battling heart issues. His departure marks the end of an era for baseball fans and particularly for those who admired his prolific career as a left-handed pitcher. Born in St. Louis, Missouri, Holtzman's baseball journey took him from the University of Illinois to the major leagues, where he left an enduring mark. Best known for his time with the Chicago Cubs and the Oakland Athletics, Holtzman's career was highlighted by two no-hitters with the Cubs and pivotal contributions to the Athletics' three consecutive World Series championships between 1972 and 1974. His prowess on the mound earned him a place in the Chicago Cubs Hall of Fame and respect as one of the game's greats. Off the field, Holtzman was just as impactful. After hanging up his glove, he engaged in community work and even took his expertise overseas, coaching the St. Louis baseball team in the Maccabiah Games and briefly managing in the Israel Baseball League. His post-baseball career also saw him attempt to transition to insurance sales, showing his versatility and willingness to embrace new challenges. Holtzman's legacy is not only in the records he set, but also in the barriers he broke, inspiring a generation of athletes by demonstrating the heights that could be achieved with dedication and skill. As the holder of the most career victories among Jewish pitchers, surpassing even Sandy Koufax, Holtzman's impact on the game is profound and enduring. His memory lives on through his family, his contributions to the communities he was part of, and every young pitcher who takes to the mound with dreams of greatness. Ken Holtzman was more than a baseball player. He was a symbol of perseverance and excellence, whose life's work transcended the sport he loved. Deborah Bird, who passed away at the age of 72, was an esteemed vocalist whose remarkable career spanned from dazzling performances with icons like Barry Manilow and Bob Dylan to shaping the voices of a new generation on television's most influential singing competitions. Bird's musical journey took her from the vibrant stages of Broadway to the intimate rehearsal rooms of American Idol and Canadian Idol, where her expertise and nurturing spirit helped mold aspiring singers into polished performers. As the head vocal coach for 10 seasons of American Idol and all six seasons of Canadian Idol, Bird became a beloved figure behind the scenes, known for her profound ability to connect with contestants and guide them with both compassion and technical rigor. Her work on majors and minors and her role as a judge on Military Idol showcased her commitment to discovering and developing vocal talent in diverse arenas. Bird's legacy is not only marked by the stars she helped rise, 
but also by the countless voices she inspired with her passion for music and her dedication to the art of singing. Her influence on the music and television industries will be remembered as one of nurturing talent and creating opportunities for artists to shine. Deborah Bird's contribution to music and her impact on so many lives will resonate for generations, ensuring her place as a cherished mentor and an unforgettable voice in the world of music. Chance Perdomo, who tragically passed away at the age of 27 due to a motorcycle accident, was a remarkable talent whose versatility and charisma captivated audiences across both the Atlantic and screens worldwide. Born in Los Angeles and raised in Southampton, England, Perdomo was a dual citizen who embraced his rich cultural heritage and leveraged it to bring authenticity and depth to his roles. Perdomo's acting career, though brief, was marked by significant achievements and promising potential. His breakout role in the BBC Three film Killed by My Debt earned him a British Academy Television Award nomination, underscoring his ability to handle complex characters and intense narratives. He became a household name with his portrayal of Ambrose Spellman in the Netflix series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, a role that showcased his dynamic range and magnetic screen presence. His commitment to his craft was evident in his continuous growth as an actor, transitioning from television to film seamlessly. Perdomo made his feature film debut in After We Fell and continued to explore diverse roles, including his final performance as Andre Anderson in the Amazon Prime series Gen V Offscreen. He was remembered for his passion, kindness, and the joy he brought to his work and interactions. Chance Perdomo's untimely departure leaves behind a legacy of performances that will continue to inspire and entertain. His impact on the film and television industry will be remembered as one of a bright star whose light, though extinguished too soon, burned exceedingly bright. His contributions to storytelling, both on and off the screen, and his efforts to represent his heritage proudly, have left an indelible mark on the hearts of fans and colleagues alike. Breaking news of the day. News 1. The sports broadcasting community is mourning the loss of Stephanie Sparks, a familiar face on the Golf Channel and former host of the hit reality series Big Break. Sparks passed away on April 13th at the age of 50. While the details surrounding her death, including the cause and location, have not been disclosed, her passing marks a significant loss in the world of golf media. Sparks, who was born in Wheeling, West Virginia, first made her mark as an All-American collegiate golfer at Duke University. Her early promise was evident when she won the prestigious 1992 North and South Women's Amateur at Pinehurst. Sparks also represented the U.S. in the 1994 Curtis Cup team, but faced setbacks due to injuries which eventually cut short her professional playing career after just one season on the LPGA in 2000. Beyond the fairways, Sparks was known for her roles in golf-themed TV series and her portrayal of Alexa Sterling in the film Bobby Jones, Stroke of Genius. Her contributions to golf media and her presence on the Golf Channel, where she also hosted Golf with Style and Playing Lessons with the Pros, will be fondly remembered by fans and colleagues alike. News 2. The recovery of Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales from cancer, is reportedly progressing well, according to Royal Insiders. Last month, the world was shocked to learn that the 42-year-old princess was undergoing preventative chemotherapy following the discovery of cancer during an abdominal surgery. In support of his wife, Prince William temporarily stepped back from his royal duties but has recently resumed public engagements. His latest appearances, including a visit to a food distribution charity in Surrey and attending a soccer game with his son, Prince George, are strategic efforts to reassure the public about the stability and continued normalcy within the royal family during this challenging time.